Hello and welcome. My name is Stephen Dickens and we're coming to you live from the show floor at Cher in Dallas. I'm joined today by April Hickel. April, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me, Stephen. It's great to be back at a live show, I think. You can really feel the buzz on the show floor down there. It's really good. We've, what is this, a two and a half year hiatus with having to go virtual on Cher? It's great to be back. It is great to be back. And I'm amazed at the energy and how many people are here and personal attendance. And I understand another uh, multiple hundred online. Fantastic, fantastic. So April, let's tell our watchers and our listeners a little bit about what you do for BMC. So Stephen, I have responsibility for our strategy for our um, eyes out business unit, which is what we call intelligent Z optimization and transformation. And um, so that involves um, working with customers, working with analysts, talking to the market, um, and really managing our software portfolio. So lots of BMC sessions when I looked at the agenda. Tell us a little bit about what BMC is saying at the show. What are the big themes that you're seeing? Give us an overview. Sure. So we really focus on three major themes. The first one is security, and that ties back to what we understand from clients to be the number one uh, priority in mainframes right now. So our survey, which had over 1,300 respondents, that really bubbled to the top. And I think if you look around the world, you know, cybercrime is uh, increasing and people are worried about it. So we have a lot of expertise in security, both on the software side and on the services to help people protect themselves from threats. So that's one thing we've been talking a lot about at the show. Another thing we're talking a lot about at the show, and there's lots of sessions um, from customers and vendors around this, is around application development and really how do you increase the speed and the quality of software that connects to or touches the mainframe. So DevOps and application development. And then the third theme that we say is just continuation of evolution of operations. So how are people managing the health and well-being of the mainframe in today's world? We spent some time with Mark Wilson earlier from mm -hmm. BMC. He was telling us about some of the threat landscape. Fantastic perspective. What are you seeing as you engage with customers around the, some of the threats and how that's changed maybe over the last couple of years? Well, I think one of the things that we continue to see is people are a little bit in denial about security on the mainframe and it's security through obscurity or people think of security as being access control and, um, you know, RACF, top secret, ACF2. And those are really sophisticated practices people have in place. But those aren't really where the threats that we see are. The threats are emerging around, um, you know, uh, ransomware as an example and how do you protect your data and ransomware cyber criminals are organized and efficient and you know that's really difficult to think about uh, we're seeing people interested in zero trust framework so how do I you know assume that the threat is already inside um, rather than trying to do sort of a moat approach like in the past I would say you know those are two examples of what we see one of the other areas you mentioned was mainframe, I'll call it mainframe modernization. Lots of buzz in the industry about that now. Where, what are you seeing as the dynamics coming from the market? What, what, what are customers saying to you in that space? Well, I would say we see a lot of interest in how do I respond to the drive to more software faster. And in fact, I just sat in a session where a client was talking about, you know, it was really the pressure from outside the mainframe that was causing the need to transform. So, you know, the cloud group, the mobile group, people who are doing applications really quickly. And then when they come to the mainframe team and the answer is, look, it's going to take us four months to code that. And it's going to take us four months to test it. And then uh, take us another four months to recode where we failed the tests. That just isn't going to fly anymore. Um, digital services are coming. Everybody's differentiating and competing based on the experiences they can deliver. And you know, you can't have the mainframe be slow or no in those cases. So people are saying, how do we do it different? But while we are maintaining the integrity, the stability of the system that we've, we've had for years. I think that's the key point. I think it's how do you keep on one hand the security, mm -hmm. reliability, availability of the platform, but enhance the agility and get the platform to be more a key constituent of a digital transformation journey. How do you get it to be more open and accessible and have that application development happen at speed? So what are you most excited about and looking forward to as we start to go through the conference? Is there any particular sort of sessions or things that you're starting to think about? 
Well, I'm really excited about all the client sessions. So the practical application, I mean, Share is a great place where you can come and learn and hear not just from vendors or from providers, but you can learn from practitioners where how they're creating a CICD pipeline, what tech stacks they're using in trying to do that. So that's what I'm most excited about. And then frankly, I'm very excited that it's in person and it's not uh, again on a virtual meeting. Yeah, we get chance to hang out like this. We get the chance to talk in person. We may even get chance to grab a beer later. Maybe. Well, April, thank you for joining us. Great to hear the BMC perspective. Lots going in, on in the space. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Live from the Show Floor, Live from Dallas. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.